Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, earlier today, um, here on Twitter, um, I have it up here on the screen right now, um, someone named Can We Get Some Toast? Uh, now, I, I don't really know about this person that well. I've only heard about this person for a couple little other things that he's um, said in the past. Um, now, he is a scooper, um, so I have no idea if this is actually legit or not. Um, so... Basically, what I'm going to be talking about is uh, this person um, putting out uh, a tweet. Now, this is sensitive content uh, because these are. this is a potential spoiler for the Flash, for the ending, and the post credit scene of this movie. Now, again, I don't know if this is true or not, so please do take this with a grain of salt uh, because this is a scooper. And like I have said in some of my previous videos, not all scoopers are are legit all the time they lie sometimes or they get their scoops wrong and um they they accidentally mess up so yeah please take this with a grain of salt don't actually believe this um now i've read a little bit about this um, of what it was in here uh, from another youtuber i was just watching um a few minutes ago actually and from what i was seeing in here i i don't know what the hell they're doing but the ending in the post credit scene are supposed to lead up to the DCU and pretty much say goodbye to the DCEU and to the Snyderverse, especially. Um, so, yeah, from what I saw in here, though, yeah, it, it, it's a poor, lazy, bad way to build up to a new universe. So let's just um, let's get into this and see what exactly it says here. So, all right. So the Flash spoilers, final warning. If you don't want to read this, I recommend exiting out right now. All right. All right. So these are the final version post credits. All right. Clooney's face is shown. Final scene of the movie. Okay. Clooney's face. Wasn't, didn't James Gunn debunk that Clooney was even going to be in the DCU or at all, like even in the Flash? So I'm already kind of skeptical about that because I'm pretty sure he said something like that. All right. Now the post credits. Barry and Arthur, uh, Jason Momoa, are at a bar talking about the multiverse. I, okay, I, what the hell? Okay, I heard something about this. Uh, Barry and uh, Arthur at a bar. Um, I, 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 only, I only heard a little bit about that, but I want to see what else it says here. Okay, they're talking about the multiverse. Barry mentions how Batman represents the same thing across the multiverse, but as different people. Arthur asks about himself, and Barry says they're all the same, but we've never seen him in any other universe, so I don't understand how Barry knows that okay wow um so yeah, okay obviously he's just going to be in one universe so yeah right when i read that i kind of i kind of just thought to myself like yeah he is only in one universe he doesn't go to any other universes so i don't understand how he would know that i mean does maybe in the movie he goes to other universes he hops around other universes who knows who knows what happens in this movie but um maybe there is a reason for that for barry explaining that um that that there are other arthurs that are kind of like momoa's aquaman um so i mean maybe he does jump around in other universes who knows um but we just gotta wait and see what happens so that right there i'm automatically kind of like maybe there's an explanation for that um but yeah okay based on from what i'm seeing though this post credit scene they're in a bar talking that's how you set up the DCU and end the DCEU. No, like, hint towards a DCU interpretation of Flash that we encounter. Like, like the DCEU universe dies. Barry doesn't go to the DCU and encounters another version of himself. Or we just don't see the DCU being created at all. Like, what? Like, bro. I, I don't get that. Like, well, this is this is already getting weird, man. Um, the universe he spent the most amount of time in recently, Keatonverse. Aquaman was dead or not born or something. Okay, wow. Um, Arthur falls over drunk and asks Barry for another drink and flips him an Atlantean treasure to pay for it. What the fuck? Barry wishes he could get drunk because his metabolism is too fast. It doesn't let him. All right, is there anything else here? Hold on. I, I want to see if there's anything else. Hold on. No warning. All right, yeah, so that's it. Okay, this is the post credit scene. What the hell is this? 
this is how you build up to the DCU? Like, okay, look, I under look, obviously this movie is going to end the DCEU slash Snyderverse. We all know this. It's been confirmed multiple times that this movie is going to end everything. And even James Gunn said himself, the Flash is going to end the DCEU and it's going to lead directly into what he and Peter Safran have planned for the DCU. So, oh my God. Okay, I, I need to pull this up again. This ending right here does not sound like a proper ending, nor a good way or a badass way to end the DCEU and start the DCU. I, I don't get this. This is a lazy way of even doing this now i hope this is not true it's probably not true but i hope this isn't true because oh my god this no oh, this is so lazily lazily uh, just the lazy ending and just the lazily written way to just end the dceu and begin the dcu like i said before like Oh my god, they're in a bar joking around, metabolism low, so he can't drink. He gotta pay for a beer for Aquaman. Like, what? That oh my god. Okay, this is what they should do. Okay, this is just for me. I don't know that they're gonna really do this. I don't think they are, but either have the D have Flash restart everything. When he does, he either dies or just well, yeah, actually, yeah, have him die while while trying to restart the universe and create the DCU, or after creating the DCU and resetting everything, have him get teleported to an unknown part of the universe where he can breathe in space, and he gets taken out by Anti-Monitor, and, and he gets his neck gets snapped, Anti-Monitor drops him on the ground, and he just looks around, and he sees that what who, the, the Flash that he just killed created a new universe, the DCU, and just have Anti-Monitor just say, when the time is right, I'll go and get, I'll go and destroy that universe too basically setting him up as the big bad of the DCU. That's what I would like to see. This is the complete opposite and is a such a lazy way to just end an old universe that has that has had so many issues like and just needs something good or something or just needed needs it to end in a badass way. Like what the hell, man? So that's pretty much all I got to say about this. Um Post comments down below, though. Let me know you guys think about this. Do you like this, or are you like me? Do you not like this, and do you want to see what I was just recommending uh, rather than this, whatever the fuck this is? Um, do let me know. I am curious what you guys think about this, though, in the comments down below. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, um, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe. And if you guys know anyone that's a fan of a DC or a fan of a, The Flash specifically, or Ezra Miller specifically, um... You should send this video over to them because they might have a good time watching this. And also, don't follow me over on Twitter and Vero. I will be putting the links to those in the description down below. So yeah, um, until then, everybody, I will see you all later, and goodbye!